one. All right, I'm here with Alex Turner, who did what and what'd you play? I played Brandy Despy. I got first place at our duels next to a sneak peek event. Uh, they performed really well, so I'll show you the list. Uh, I played three Albas, three Alliver, one Tragedy, uh, one Guiding Quim, one Cartesia. I think every Despy deck plays these. Uh, Teedly Villian. Ideally, I'd play three, but I only have two. So you 100% should have three of these if you play this deck. But you can still win with two. Uh, one Serenade. Uh, I played er, like multiple Lubelions and one Serenade just because like you can always discard this if you draw it. And drawing Lubelions, insane for this deck. I'll uh, tell you why later. And then one Shrouded Mercurier. Shout out to Mr. Sonny. Oh, and also shout outs to the priority phase group chat. Uh, one puppet lock because that's what we do. <laughs> And then three good cards, three good cards, three good cards. Uh, spells. I played uh, High Spirit. So like with Lubelion and a Dragon type, basically you do this so you can set up a Titanic Cloud or Albion in your graveyard, depending if you open Lubelion or not. And then when they Ash Blossom your Branded Fusion, you can continue to play because you get, still get a search or a summon of the Quam and the End Fist. So there's a lot more you can do with this. Uh, you essentially just search this off of Aluber instead of Branded Fusion, and then you get, when you have Lubelion, and then you, Lubelion gets Serenair, and then High Spirits discards Serenair, search Albion Shrouded, and then Serenair send Branded Fusion, Albion Shrouded send Retribution draw a card. So you get more, uh, you get to the same end board basically. You get to Branded Fusion, but you also get Titan Albion or uh, Titanic Clouding Root. So I just think it's literally just better. Against Ash Blossom, of course. Uh, one Branded in Red, one Branded Lost. Uh, two Root Searchers for Aluber. Uh, called by. And then Non Engine, I played three Super Poly, three Thrust, uh, Talents, uh, Duster. So, like, Thrust for Talents is essential in this deck, even though, like, most decks that play Thrust, they play Talents because you can Zeus. Uh, you want to Thrust for Talents in this deck on your second because you can rip the Ash Blossom out of their hand. And then, like against Cashier, especially if they go like Shang Effect and Sand Buffets, you can Thrust for Talents, rip their hand, then activate Brand Infusion and play. Uh, Duster, because this deck struggles with back row. And then I was originally playing three Lubelion, but I didn't have a third, so I just threw in Book of Eclipse in the sleeve I had the third Lubelion in. And then <laughs> Fusion Duplication. This is why I play uh, Thrust, because if they Ash Wall Sand Brand Infusion, I guess it's pretty well known now, but you activate Thrust, you set Duplication, and then you just puppet lock them on their turn. So it's like really good card really good if, if you get puppet locked yourself overall good card then retribution mandatory uh that's the main deck i think there's 41 cards in there i think <laughs> extra double albion double lubelion i always will play two of those i cannot play with one of this card i don't know i know some people do it but i can't one sanctifier one mirror jade uh it comes up sometimes i need to but extra deck space is tight so i have to play lenidus because of my locals uh there's dragon link everywhere so that's why we play that. Titanic Lad. Uh, you need to play this because it summons uh, Quem. But it's also when you activate High Spirits, you send this because it's a dragon. And then you like uh, Brand Infusion summon Albion, and then you already have Blue Belly on Engraved, so you can get both of these. Uh, Ren Brown, this turns Mirror Jade into a disruption on your opponent's turn because you summon back the Elbows. Dust Dragon, Essential. Masquerade. Uh, I play this because I play Super Poly and like Aluber or Quem. It lets you super poly into boards. It just uh, helps make super poly live, basically. And then other super poly targets. Uh, those two, I feel like you have to play with the move. And then Drago Sepalia, Broken Card, and Chimera for the back row decks. Um, side deck. I played Triple Droll, Triple Magnamute. Uh, I main deck the Serenade, so I don't have to side like the uh, other one, Drew's Worm. Two Nibiru. Ideally, this would be three, but you know, side deck space. Uh, one finger toss. This card's just good against everything. It breaks floodgates too, like anti spell. Uh, when you side deck like normal spell cards, it gets hit by like eradicating those different cards where finger toss beats those. And then one should all dragon. This is, uh, you side this in against like skill drain and back row decks and like runic to hit the fountain because uh, if you have lost up when you activate branded fusion, they can't chain a runic to protect the fountain with Hugin. But also uh, against Kashira, they'll set up uh, Fenrir plus Unicorn plus Birth. And then you can send this off a of branded fusion basically in the combo to break that entire board. Uh, double dark pull for evilly and cashier in general. It's good against them even if they don't sign in evilly. 
Uh, double cosmic, ideally this would be three, but you know, side deck space. And then one banishment, this is for uh, the combo post side. If you know you're going first, you side this in, and then you set up the puppet lock under Branded Lost. So when you flip this in the draw phase, you summon back Elvion, and then you fuse for Dragon Sepilia. You use Branded Lost Chain 1, Sanctifier Chain 2 to summon the puppet, and they can't respond because you're under Lost. Uh, that is my deck profile. All right, nice. Thank you for watching. Congrats.